So this is one of the rare opportunities you get to be able to um, work with um, an actual company with what you, you are learning in class. It's all um, student workers. Um, we have advisors, but every obstacle we face is always, you know, you have to figure out the solutions by yourself. Obviously, it's an awesome opportunity um, just to kind of get that experience of talking to um, either a boss or just a coworker in general and um, just being able to communicate what you found through your like research and um, analysis. The Amory program began over 20 years ago in response to the question, what do I do with a math major? We had students would ask us that and we decided we should show students what you can do with a math major. So we reached out to local businesses uh, to try to identify problems that they needed to have solved and we put teams of students with a faculty advisor doing consulting work to solve these problems. Part of the reason that I joined Amory was because I wanted to know what would it be like to be in an applied math field as opposed to something more theoretical because I'd never had experience. I didn't know where I wanted to go. And so being able to be here in a more corporate setting and actually seeing what it's like to work with people in this type of field is a really great opportunity. These people, they've been in the field for 20, 30 plus years and they're looking at us 20 year olds like, hey, can you help us out with this? It's like, oh, you don't really, you know, I was in high school a couple years ago and now you want me to build this project for your multi-million dollar company? Um, so yeah, it's just like, it's a, it's cool. It's a, it's a cool experience. I was really excited about this internship because I think it's going to look great on a resume, but also it's something that I'm definitely um, interested in. I think insurance is an interesting field and I do like working with large data sets and I think it's going to look awesome to say that I've had significant experience um, working with extremely large data sets, bigger than most people would, so I think um, that's going to be very helpful down the line. There, there is excitement about the possibility of expanding Amory into areas other than mathematics and computer science. Um, we've done that um, periodically as, as projects landed in our laps and we've had some very, very interesting projects. I learned about Amory actually through the mathematics portion because I wasn't because I'm a math major, but I actually wanted to do something non-math related because you know it's college Worcester's all about that uh, about like like doing a bunch of other things other than your major, you know, get that liberal arts education. So this was up my alley and I was like, why not? When I first pictured Amory projects, it was nothing like this. Um, this is more of a communications heavy uh, project. Um, which I am very happy to be a part of. When there's opportunities outside of math and computer science, we look to see if we can find expertise to tackle that project. For example, this year we're partnering with the College of Worcester's Digital History Program and doing a project for a local physician in creating a digital history museum for him. So the Tisano project has given me a lot of experience as I hope to go into the field of public history. Um, it's given me experience working with physical objects in a collection. Definitely being around the collection has been a really unique um, experience, uh, being able to touch objects that were used um, in the 1500s or the 1600s has been a really neat thing. This is a really good opportunity for College of Worcester students because it's, um, it is unique. Uh, to Worcester. It's, um, it, it provides students with support and, and help and, and essentially what the college is so good at with mentoring help as they work on real-world problems. 